This is Claire Litton for ISIMA TV. One of the news reports that I've been following for a little while is a recent conflict in Ganawage in Quebec. Ganawage is a little bit outside of Montreal, and recently the Mohawk Nation there um, delivered eviction notices to 26 non-natives living on the Mohawk Reservation, telling them that they had to leave by a certain date, a.k.a. February 21st. Um, but, however, by February 21st, only three had left and three more were making plans to leave, and the remaining um, few had not actually spoken to anyone about what their plans were going to be. Um, the Eastern Door newspaper, which is a small newspaper that's um, been kind of circulating around Ganawage, um, has been supporting the decisions of the non-natives to remain on the Mohawk Reservation without... Um, uh, leaving according to the decree of the uh, the reservation heads, um, because they say that it's absolutely unfair to ask non-natives who are a genuine part of the native community, some of whom are in relationships with or married to or have families with natives, Mohawks, um, it's a, a shame and an impossibility to ask them to leave. Pierre Trudeau actually said the state has no place in the nation's bedrooms, and the Eastern Door newspaper agrees that this should also apply on the Mohawk Reservation. So my question to you is, um, is it racism if Mohawks are throwing non-Mohawks out of a predominantly Mohawk area, an area which has been decreed, as a matter of fact, by the government to be a special place for Mohawks to live in? Um, and what do you think they should do about it? Where do you think this should go? What kind of impact do you think this will have on our relations with Native communities and also with non-Native communities? Let's hear your thoughts.